raise the game. Come on, raise the game. Are you ready? He gives us everything we could ever need to love the world around us, to be a light in darkness. He's with us every breath, he's with us every step, so we can leave fear in the dust behind us. If you want to raise the game, he will give you strength to reach another level in
Hey, what is up, Somos Kids? I am so excited to be here with you in the new year. Happy New Year's. Happy 2020. This year is going to be your year. What an incredible, incredible way to start off the year. I'm so glad you're here at Somos Church, the best place to be. Yes, so my question for you is, who is your favorite celebrity slash YouTuber? Who would you like to meet like in person? Who is that one person that you would just love to meet in person? For me, if I'm being honest, it would be Tom Holland. And if you don't know who he is, he is he plays Spider-Man. And I don't know about you guys, if you guys haven't seen it, go watch Spider-Man now. It is an incredible movie. Um, and don't spoil it for any of the other kids. But anyways, yes, that is a celebrity I would have loved to meet in person. And uh, what would you do if you met your celebrity or if you knew your celebrity was coming into town? If I knew Tom Holland was coming to El Paso, I would lose my mind. I would do anything and everything just to seek him out and look for him. But yes. And today we're going to be talking about the, the Bible story uh, about John the Baptist and how he was super excited to be welcoming Jesus and making a way for Jesus to change the world. And and yeah, before we get started, we are going to talk about our Somos Kids values. All right. Now, remember, it's not just what we say. It is who we are as Somos. All right. So remember, number one, listening ears. I will listen twice as much as I speak. Great job. All right. Now let's repeat again. I want to hear you speak loud and clear. All right, guys. So listening ears. I will listen twice as much as I speak. Awesome. All right. Number two, kind mouth. I will use kind words to honor others and speak life into others. All right. Now repeat after me. I want, I want to hear you loud and clear, guys. All right. Kind mouth. I will use kind words to honor others and speak life. All right. Great job. All right, number three, humble heart. I will think of others before myself. Humble heart. Now repeat after me. Humble heart. I will think of others before I think of myself. Helping hands. I will use my hands for helping and sharing. All right. I want to hear you guys. All right. Repeat after me. Helping hands. I will use my hands for helping and sharing. All right, great job, guys. Now, the last one, most importantly, positive attitude. I will always choose joy. Now, loud and clear, guys, this is the last one. Positive attitude. I will always choose joy. Awesome, guys. Great job. Keep on practicing those. Keep on noticing those as you're here in church. Notice, point them out, and yeah, let's, let's continue on with our Somos kids message all right so with that said let's continue with the memory verse and that is coming out of john 14 6. can you repeat john 14 6. all right and so in john 14 6 it says jesus answered i am the way the truth and the life no one comes to the father except through me wow what what a saying right there Jesus is saying, no one comes to my father except through me. Wow. Jesus is just like a security guard at, at the mall or something like that, like somewhere really fancy. You know, he's like, ain't nobody coming through to my father except through me. That's right. This verse is saying the right way to live, where our life comes from, and most real thing there is, is Jesus. Now let's read that again. All right, and let's read it with confidence. All right, guys, Jesus answered, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to my Father except through me. That's right, Jesus. You tell them in John 14, 6. Great job, guys. Great job. Keep on practicing your memory verses and speak that confidently. Now let's just jump right into the lesson here. Do you know something exciting about Jesus because I know something pretty exciting about Jesus 
and that he actually been here since the beginning of time. In fact, everything was made through him. And he decided to be born as a little baby. Can you believe it? The, the God, our creator, that made the heavens and the earth decided to come as a little small baby. He wanted us to be a part of God's family. But the people of Israel didn't know at what time Jesus was going to be born. For years and years, the people of Israel were waiting for someone to come and save them. They knew that one day, God who created life with just words would come to earth to save them from their troubles. But they just didn't know what time and they just didn't want to miss out. Have you ever just waited a long, long, long time for just something that you really, really, really wanted? Well, if I'm being honest, I waited a long, long, long time to watch Spider-Man No Way Home. You guys will not believe how long I waited. It was so long. I just, it felt like years for this movie to come out. But as soon as it came out, I was like, yes, I'm going. Nothing's stopping me, but I am going. But sometimes it's not easy to recognize God. With all, that, with all the clues that God had left behind for Israel, the people didn't recognize Jesus or God when Jesus came to them. And it, it's kind of a surprise because they're like, it's just a normal guy. But little did they know that they're, they're talking to our God, the creator of life. Have you ever just looked at something all over the place and couldn't find it? And then you end up finding it at the same place that you were looking at the whole time? I have that problem all the time. And funny enough, it's whenever I ask my mom to help me look for that one thing, she ends up finding it like so quick. And I'm like, I've been looking for five minutes. I couldn't find my keys. And once I asked, it was like, yeah, it's right there. It's like, well, duh, yeah. Well, anyways, John the Baptist was a very popular man at the time. Many thought that John the Baptist was their savior. They were waiting for because he was baptizing people all over the place. But John the Baptist made it clear. It was not, it was not he that was God. With so much excitement, he shared the good news that God was on his way, that Jesus was on his way, and he was coming soon. With so much excitement, he shared that God was coming soon. And all he was doing was preparing the way for Jesus. Now, imagine this. Just imagine this with me. Imagine your favorite celebrity, Tom Holland, were to come to you and meet you personally, meet you one-on-one. -on -one. I would lose my mind. I would be like, oh my God, I am talking to Spider-Man. And I know it's very cheesy, but I would go crazy. And that's how a lot of people were once they realized that Jesus was God and that he was the savior they've been waiting for. They just were in awe and pure shock whenever they met him. Now, when John the Baptist met Jesus, the only son from the father, full of grace and truth, he told all the Israelites that Jesus was the one true God. So I, what I want you to remember today is, we can know God through Jesus. It is through Jesus that we get to know our Heavenly Father that has created all life through Jesus. Now, let's take 30 seconds to think about God for being who He is and thank Him for all that He's done for us in your life and in the people around you. So 30 seconds starts now. All right, guys, get up on your feet. Let's dance to one more song and we'll go ahead and go on to Grow TV. 
Come on, Summer's Kids, stand up. You spoke one word and the dark became light. I believe it, I believe it, yeah. You spoke my name and my heart came to life. I believe it, I believe it, yeah. I wanna sing about it, I wanna scream and shout it. I'm Carl. And I'm Andy. And welcome to Grow TV. <laughs> Subscribe, like, smash that like button. Share. Hit the bell. Hit the bling. Subscribe. Subs <laughs> Sound effect. Wah, 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 wah. Bah, 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 bah. Air horns. Subscribe. <laughs> now. Welcome to Grow TV. Hosted by Carl. Where we have fun with our friends, talk about Jesus, and go over everything the Bible has to offer. Now, once again, welcome to Pro TV. Hey, everybody! It's good to see you. For those who haven't met my good friend, this is Andy. Say hello, Andy. Hello, Andy. Just, just say, just say hello. Hello. Just hello. Okay. Just, just repeat after me. After me. Um, anyways, welcome, Andy, to Grow TV. Thanks for having me. Uh, I'm actually Carl's assistant, make sure he gets fed, gets all of his naps, and I actually file his taxes, so. What are taxes? That's what I thought. 
So Andy, you are not gonna believe what I lost over the weekend. Your toothbrush. No, you know I lost that last weekend. Oh yeah, I forgot. Uh, was it your lucky horse head? Nope. <laughs> Don't go anywhere without that. <laughs> <laughs> was it your pride? No way, Jose. Still got it. Then I'm lost. What did you lose? My glasses. I lost my glasses. Your what? My glasses. You know, spectacles. The things I wear every day that help me see the stuff that I normally can't see without them. So that must be really rough then. So you can't see anything at all? And that's the weird thing. Even though I lost them, I can still see everything really clear. That is really strange. Yeah. Um, Real quick, you have uh, something on your nose, just right there. I don't, I don't feel anything. Did I get it? No, the other side. It's, uh, you know, still, you gotta, no, over to the right, down a little bit. On your, it's on your, it's right, kinda, yeah, dig deeper, yeah, no, okay. No. I, think, right. I, think you not, got, I think you got it. I I'm think, not paying me. Yeah, I think you got it. Is it? No, nope, you oh. got it, you got it. All right. Yeah. Wait. <laughs> Ha! They're on my face the whole time. Silly me. <laughs> they were on my face this whole time. Who would have thought? <laughs> Not me. And that was kind of like the people back in Jesus' time. What do you mean? Like the Bible? Yeah, you remember the time when Jesus came to earth and there was a man named John? John the Baptist? He was the guy that ate honey and locusts, right? Yes, sir. He was actually a really good man who loved Jesus and told everyone about Jesus. Wait a minute. He couldn't have told people about Jesus because Jesus hadn't begun doing God's work yet. That's true, but everyone back then knew that God was going to send a Messiah, a savior, to come down to earth and help us. And John knew that person was Jesus. Wow, how exciting must that have been for everyone? But imagine how they felt seeing Jesus for the first time. Well, to be honest, not a lot of people were excited. What, why? It was Jesus, he was the savior of the world. Yeah, but so many people were expecting someone different. And so when they met Jesus, they were really disappointed. And some were even really angry. Wow, that's crazy. And didn't some people think that John was a savior? They sure did. But John told them that someone better was coming and that someone was Jesus. So John told them about Jesus. Then Jesus shows up, just like God said he would. And then everyone listened to Jesus, right? Some did, yeah. Jesus became very, very popular. But like I said, some people didn't trust Jesus and what he was saying. Wait, these people didn't want to learn about God? No, they did. And I don't get it. These people wanted to learn about God, but Jesus was right in front of them. Were they blind? No, they weren't blind, but it's this kind of like what happened to you with your glasses. See, you had your glasses in your hands and on your nose in front of you the whole time. The same thing happened to the people back then. They wanted the Messiah. So when Jesus, the promised savior actually shows up, they had a hard time seeing that he was the real thing. Wow, I guess that's a good lesson. What do you mean? Well, sometimes God gives us what we don't expect. Absolutely, and it tells us in Ephesians 1 that Jesus came down to give us grace freely. And not only that, but forgiveness and unconditional love, which only comes from God. It goes to show that we can know God through Jesus. Whoa! That's our big idea, Andy! Today's big idea is we can know God through Jesus. So let's say it out loud on the count of three. One, two, three. three. We can know God through Jesus! <laughs> So I'll be honest, I learned a lot today. What about you? I sure did, and I'm super glad I found my glasses. Now, if I could only find my phone. You lost your phone? I did. You should probably call it. You think? That's yeah. probably the best thing to yeah, do, isn't it? You can hear it ring. Hey Siri, call Carl. Hey Siri, call Carl. Have a wonderful week, kids. We'll see you next time. He, it's not ringing. It's, just keep trying. It, that's a weird noise. Yeah. Thank you for watching and tune in next week for a new episode of Pro TV. That was awesome. Thank you guys so much. I am so, so proud of you guys. This year is going to be an incredible year for every single one of you. And I just, I am so excited to be doing life with you guys and excited for this year. This year, 2022 is your year. Bye, Somos Kids.